Hi guys, Boris Dorfman, LBC Capital Income Fund. If you're not subscribed yet, please do so right down below. So I just came back from a California Mortgage Association conference in San Diego, and there was a lot of talk about uh, where real estate market is going and the industry tr trends, uh, private mortgage industry, private lending, and real estate in general. So over the years, I've been talking about uh, what I think about the market and where it's going. Uh, some people really think that I have my fun glasses on and everything I see in rose colors, but uh, really I got to talk to a lot of industry peers and to see what everybody thinks. And this is what I'm gonna to talk to you about today, uh, the market sentiment, professionals in this industry sentiment. And we're gonna break it down by an asset class within the real estate, right? So first of all, uh, now more than ever, I think we're reverting back to location, 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 right? When market was going up indiscriminately, uh, it didn't matter. Now, I think investors are more picky, so location really matters. For example, uh, during COVID, a lot of uh, vacation rentals shut through the roof. Uh, in California, it's uh, Big Bear, Arrowhead, Palm Springs, other desert towns, and, and now there's a lot more uh, properties for rent for Airbnb, so that segment is kind of slowing down. But let's uh, take one by one, let's take uh, single family, one through four units uh, condominiums. And keep in mind, uh, I am professional in California. We're located in Southern California, so take it with a grain of salt, uh, everything that I may think in other areas. Uh, but Southern California market, uh, I know very well, that's where we live, work, and uh, that's one uh, where most of our money is being lent out. We do a lot of stuff in Northern California, and uh, we do some uh, other major metropolitan, we finance uh, in other me major metropolitan areas or over the country. We do a lot of stuff in Miami and Tampa, uh, Seattle. So I know those markets uh, less than fairly well, but we wouldn't go there uh, unless we had boots on the ground and a fair understanding of the market. That being said, California, especially Southern California, single family, one through four unit uh, market, uh, that includes My industry peers uh, are very bullish over the next few years on single family one through four uh, market. One, there is not enough inventory. Two, there is not enough new housing built. And uh, three, surprisingly, uh, demographic shifts in California towards higher and uh, higher income earners. Uh, and higher educated people. You would think people are moving California if you turn on the news, and that may be the case, but if you actually look at the migration demographics, uh, there's still a lot of people coming to California. There's still a lot of industries, high tech, Silicon Valley, media companies, there's still Hollywood. Uh, finance industry that was never in California, there's, you know, there's some firms uh, that are here now. So very bullish on single family, one through four condos. Um, a multifamily, same thing. We don't have enough housing, rents, uh, have been rising rapidly, not so much lately, but they're still rising. There's still not enough units. There's still not enough housing. Very bullish on uh, multifamily. Uh, hotels. Uh, keep in mind, uh, uh, hotels, uh, there's, there's leisure hotels and then there's business hotels. And uh, not so much type of the hotel, but the areas, right? So, for example, uh, Cupertino, California, next to Apple headquarters. Back in the days, Apple used to host uh, every week. They would have seminars. People would come from all over the country uh, for these seminars, for conferences. There is not that much need for business hotels in that neck of the woods for now because Zoom happened. COVID happened and Zoom happened. Uh, 
uh, on the flip side, uh, vacation, leisure, hotel, the room rates are double or sometimes triple the price. San Diego, Orange County, uh, Los Angeles, maybe not downtown San Francisco because they house homeless now. So hotel space is great, but it's very local. And if you cater uh, to vacationers, if you take into staycationers, it's a pretty hot asset class with high room rates. Uh, hotels for business use next to conference centers, next to Apple, Google headquarters, not so much. So pretty bullish on hotels, spotty location, location, location. Now, office space. Let me roll back a little bit. Uh, most of the conventional uh, single family, one through four units mortgages out there, they're fixed. They're 30 year fixed. You get it, you don't have to worry about it for 30 years. So you know what you're getting. Anybody that got in the mortgage a few years ago, uh, for the most part, they were set. Of course, there's adjustable rate mortgages out there, but it's a very, over the past five, seven years, it's been a very small uh, portion of the total mortgage pool. For the, for, so for the most part, homeowners, 30 year mortgage, you know what you're paying, you know what your, your investors, your rate, uh, also getting 30 year mortgage, your rate is the same, your payment is the same, and for investors, uh, rents have been rising. So it's, uh, it, it's pretty good, everything is known. And commercial space, uh, that includes multifamily, that includes retail, hotel, industrial, office space, a lot of these mortgages are, uh, are adjustable. So, biggest, you know, we're talking about 90% of those mortgages, they're adjustable rate mortgages. And the banks typically take a look and audit these mortgages every year. Okay, so now we're looking at not only that uh, adjustable term, usually five, seven or 10 years, right? So somebody that got in a seven year mortgage six years ago is about to reset and the rate will go up and sometimes double. So that space will, uh, all the commercial space because of this factor will experience distress because existing borrowers commercial of commercial real estate will have their rate reset. Okay, and depending on the, uh, their institution, their uh, mortgage rate, uh, most likely, they will go up and a lot of them, they will go up significantly. Don't forget there's people sitting in three and a half percent interest rates that will double at seven, seven and a half. And some of these borrowers will not be able to even keep these mortgages, even if they're willing to pay this higher rate because of the debt service coverage ratio. I don't want to get too technical, but bank can say, hey, you have a $2 million loan. We recalculated your number. You're gonna have to bring in half a million dollars to closing so we can refinance. Uh, okay, so uh, hotels, multifamily, still bullish. The prices may dip a little bit in some of these sectors, but overall, there is a strong demand for that. Uh, office space, people moved out, uh, people are remote, people are on Zoom. Uh, mortgage rates are resetting. Office space is the weakest link in the entire real estate industry. Granted that sellers will sell, prices for office space uh, will drop significantly. Also, there's a lot of foreclosure in that space. The banks are calling the notes. Banks uh, from the borrowers, uh, rates will go up and owners of multifamily buildings will be able to catch on, uh, catch up because the rents have been going up. In office space, the rents have been going down. Industrial, also location, 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 but for the most part, industrial space is extremely strong. Industrial leases are very long term. They're usually five, 10 year leases, sometimes 25 with multiple options. So some of the people that are sitting in industrial space, uh, the, uh, the tenants, they're still paying a rate from five, 10 years ago with like, uh, fractional escalation. Most of the tenants are still paying lower than the market rent, sometimes significantly. And the vacancy rates in industrial space is very low. So industrial is pretty strong. Uh, retail, location, location, location. Uh, 
you know, whether it's small neighborhood retail. So it really depends on uh, there's some office space in retail, mixed use. So retail is really location, location, location. Um, please subscribe down below. Thank you guys. I'll see you next time. Thank you.